Hey guys, so uh, last week I took my rough cast, actually I should put it this way, and uh, brought the main shaft, it's going to be threaded, but I brought it down to uh, half an inch, that's our, that's our final size, uh, and I just touched up these areas because I was, I was doing some work right in the corner and I was worried about this corner of the uh, tool holder hitting. And then I flipped it around, uh, faced it, did some work on the outside, and then as I was facing, I found a big hole, and uh, it is a pretty big hole. Let me see here. You can see the drill goes in, and let's say right about there. It's pretty deep, but I think it'll be okay. Um, I got a drill and tap a hole in the back of that, but this part it really only needs to be this diameter. Uh, so if I can if I can get rid of this, I can face this off, and I still have uh, enough meat there that I can drill and tap a. A quarter inch hole. So we're going to face this off. We're going to run this back so it's it's all fresh metal not this cast look and uh, hopefully everything goes okay. Turn the speed down. All right, so I've had to move you. Um, you were blocking the controls, and I knocked, I knocked one of the legs, and bad things happened. See, I got another hole there. I should have anticipated it, knowing that this was a big piece and there would be a little bit of shrinkage. Oh, I think we'll be okay, though. All I need to do is drill and tap a hole, and all it needs to do is sit on top of a, a disc the size of a loony.
eighth of an inch should have it. looking good. I think one more and I'll call it. you can see that uh, in the center of this like there's there's obviously some some holes there let me get you in a little closer all right let's see if we can focus this there we go there's some holes but at the very center it's very very symmetrical that's because uh, just as I was finishing up yesterday well I should say the last video um, I actually ran a drill down in here to try and clear it out and see how how deep that hole actually is. So um, I don't need to go any deeper than that because that's that's where the start of the drill hole is, and uh, that should be good enough. Let me switch that back to autofocus. Uh, this should be good enough for uh, any mounting I want to do. I just needed to take it down to make it nice and flat, and then. Uh, I'll pull it out a little bit, and uh, or maybe I'll just tap it right now, and I can use a a bolt to hold it while I machine a couple st steps or a taper or something in there. My insert's got a nice big chip in it. I just checked it about... Well, when did I start this video? About an hour ago? Alright. They cut a little better when they don't have massive chips in them. Beautiful. Now let's get this out of the way. Now I want to drill a quarter twenty. Problem is 
I think they want a number seven drill to drill a quarter 20. I don't have a number seven drill. I don't have any numbers at all. So what I've done, I've gone into my drill index and I've pulled out my, what is that, 13 64ths, which says it's uh, 0.203, 203 thou. Uh, the number seven, I believe, is 210. So I'm going to go in, well, let's say three quarters of an inch. Uh, bounced around a little bit just because that hole was a little weird shaped but uh, once it hits the center drill it, uh, it, it's fine now Three quarters. I don't know if that'll be enough. We're gonna go a little bit more. All right, that's another eighth. Hopefully that'll be okay. Our hole is tapped and I had to face off quite a bit because after I drilled and tapped I found a few more holes and there wasn't really a lot of threads. Oh, uh, let me get the thing I'm actually going to attach this to. Alright, this, this is what it's going to be sitting on. Uh, you can see there it's got a clamp. It can, it can clamp onto virtually anything. It can extend to virtually any size uh, and then inside here there's three pins that go into those holes that turn this into a, a tripod that can just sit wherever so let's hope it's deep enough mm. close enough Seems pretty solid. Oops, you can take this, tip it over. So, that's. Uh, I gotta get this thing off. Okay. That's pretty much all the back end I'm gonna do. Uh, I still do have to clean this face up a little bit. Maybe I'll just leave it. I like the homemade look. You know what? I'm just going to leave that and we're going to tap. Or we're going to die. I don't know if that's what you call it. Alright, now what I've got is my die ready to start cutting threads. I have the face of my tailstock pushed up against that so it's nice and straight and square. And this is going to come and rest on that. Let's bring this over just a little bit so we're not so far out. 
All right. Now, let's just hope everything goes okay. Let's put a little fluid on there. So my camera ran out of memory again, and uh, while I was while it was sitting there transferring files, I went ahead and did this. It felt like it took forever. My machine does doesn't quite have the juice to do this uh, power feed style, so I had to do everything by hand. Um, luckily, it does have the juice to rewind, assuming that I don't hit my in here, move that all the way down. We might have to do this in two steps. And I've rigged this up. This is kind of what the view will be once this, this piece is done. Uh, turn the speed all the way down. threads actually came out really well. I was concerned because of the porosity of the aluminum that they wouldn't uh, they wouldn't be so good. Um, there are a couple spots where it, it's uh, it's not so great, and I'll show you those in a second. Let me just get this onto the other side. Still needs a bit of a cleanup. I want to run a file over the, the threads here, <clears throat> but it should give you a decent look if I can focus it. There we go. Right down here where the thread started, it looks like ass. Um, I figured out that it was just because I wasn't using enough uh, uh, oil. After I put some oil on it, here things started to look okay. And then right in here, there's another spot. You can see their thread is, is mangled right here. And again, that's just because I wasn't using enough oil. Um, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to leave this. It's not going to affect anything. Uh, but this one I am probably going to face off and remove. So, um, I don't want to take this out because I want to. I want to leave it in as it is, so that I can remove that. But uh, that's piece number one complete. And uh, you guys have yourselves a good day.